Hey guys, Trent here from How to Haven, back again with another quick tutorial, and today I'm going to be helping you fix the problem of Xbox Game Pass not letting you download games. And before we get into this, I just want to ask if this video does help you out today, please consider leaving a super thanks or just engaging in this video in any way. Um, but let's just get right into it. And to, to fix this problem, we need to run a series of commands in PowerShell. So hit the Windows key and type in PowerShell to get Windows PowerShell. And you're going to right click it and run as administrator, hit yes when prompted, and then you'll get to this screen, and there's a few commands you're going to want to type in. I have them copied, and I'm going to, I'm going to put these in the description of the video so you can copy them and use them as well. So the first one you want to do is SFC scan now, copy that, right click to paste it into PowerShell, sometimes it doesn't work, try again, there we go, hit enter. Um, and it's going to do a quick scan, so let let this finish. Um, it might take a little bit. I don't think it'll take too long. All right, and now once you've done this, uh, finish the scan, you might get a message similar to mine, or you might not, um, but hopefully you've got something that's been repaired. And next you want to do this command, the second one, which basically is going to scan your health of your computer. So we're going to go and right-click it again, hit Enter, and this is going to do a scan health. Uh, and once this finishes, you should be you should be prompted. Um, I don't think it will take as long as the other scan. Definitely can tell right now. It's already gone pretty quick. Once this is completed, you should get a 100% completion message. Completion message uh, and maybe a similar message to mine. And then we're just going to follow up with the final command, which is going to restore the health. Uh, hit right click in here to copy or to paste it. Hit enter, and it should run a similar process that will take a Similar amount of time, I imagine, um, but hopefully, again, not too long. All right, once you've reached 100% completion on that process, you should get a similar message to me, and we just have one more step, or two more really steps, before we're done with the process, and the next is to hit the Windows key, and then search for WS Reset. And you should see this, and it's going to be a run command thing, so you want to click that, and run it. Um, which will open the Microsoft Store. Just wait for this to open completely. Wait a few seconds, let it load completely. And once that's completely loaded, you can actually just go ahead and close it. And your final step is to restart your computer. Yes, I know. So go here, power, and hit restart. Now, I'm not going to do it because it will kill the video, but you get the point. Do a restart, and then you should be good to go. I hope this solved your problem, and if, it, if this video helped, you know what to do. Peace.